One of the main things we want to cover today that I think many, many people misunderstand is the division of property and debt. In my opinion, this is the greatest area for influence by a certified public accountant without a doubt. And we're going to walk you through the factors and some of the issues in property division. First of all, uh, the, the factors that a court considers in property division are listed in a statute and we have that material provided for you in the property division section of the client's guide to divorce in Tennessee. But we don't need to list them. We're just going to cover some of the issues from a different angle today. First of all, in property division and debt division, the first issue that comes up is discovery and identification. In order to divide up an estate, you have to know what's there. Who better than the party's CPA to help us with that? Either to provide independent advice to both lawyers or to get a lawyer on the phone and say, I, I need a release from, you, from, uh, from your client and then I can talk to you. And give us a nice listing of what's in the estate from the CPA's perspective. If we can't discover or we don't already know all the assets in the estate, then we may need to do some discovery. Many of you may have been involved in that in the past, whether it be through a deposition, having a subpoena issued to your office. It could be interrogatories between the parties where the parties have come to you and asked you for help in completing the interrogatories, or a request for production of documents where the parties have to exchange certain financial documents. But the identification of the assets to begin the process is very, very important. And having that help from the CPA can help us eliminate gaps. Because in the gap, if there is a gap, you don't know if that gap's $10,000 or $450,000 because an asset is omitted. You just don't know. 